Hi there YouTube, we've got something really exciting for you today. It's the Pixel C from Google, the latest tablet from the search giant, uh, and we're gonna unbox it and check out what it's like. So here we go. This is the Pixel C box. It's got the Chromebook uh, logo on it, which you'll see transfers onto the tablet as well once we've whipped it out. So here we go. Take it out and uh, there we are. That's showing you the battery level. We give it a double tap and it will show you how much battery is in the tablet, quite neat. You don't have to even turn it on, it's not on at the moment, but you can check your battery level, which is uh, kind of handy. Um, it's an aluminium finish, it does feel very premium. It is a little on the heavy side, um, but nicely put together, but we'll come back to that in a minute. What else you get in the box? Well, there's a piece of card that says, let's get started, and a charger, and that is literally it. Google have gone bare bones here with this. Um, so that's all you get, that is, the, that is the C. But if you want to spend a little bit extra money, you can also get the Pixel C keyboard, which basically makes it into sort of a Surface iPad Pro style offering. Open that up. Google says this is for both business and play, but I reckon it's more of a business feature rather than a play feature, but some people may find it useful, especially if you're doing lots of emails on your tablet. The keyboard, not quite as premium feeling. There's a, definitely a hint, more than a hint of plastic on this, but it's relatively stable and it mag magnetically connects to the tablet like that for a uh, very much a laptop look. And then to actually use it, it magnets onto the other side and then you can adjust the screen like so. So let's power up the Pixel C. This tablet's got a 10.2 inch screen. It's 308 PPI, which is actually uh, a higher pixel density than the Nexus 9, which is about 280. So the clarity should be a lot better on this screen. Under the hood, you've got an Nvidia Tegra X1 processor. It's a 64 bit chip and three gigabytes of RAM. There's stereo speakers on either side of the tablet and it also has four microphones built in as well. Um, of course, it's running Android Marshmallow, one of the first tablets to do so because it's a Nexus device, so it always gets the latest updates and it'll be the first to get future updates pushed directly from Google. Um, Google's also saying that it's good for over 10 hours of use on one single charge, which is very impressive sounding. Whether we'll actually get that during our review process, yeah. well, that remains to be seen, but the po you know, initial positives are, are there. And Marshmallow does come with Google's new Doze feature, which helps save battery in the background. So hopefully this tablet can go the distance. Um, so powered it up. Um, you've just got the basic, all of Google's apps pre-installed, but nothing else. So that's what you can expect really. Uh, we can go to the internet. And the tablet knows as soon as you connect the keyboard. You don't have to go to Bluetooth settings. You don't have to set up pairing. It automatically pairs every single time. Literally, all you have to do is connect and the keyboard is ready to use. It's really easy. You don't have to turn the keyboard on or off. The keyboard is powered by the tablet and it has a battery and the, and the keyboard recharges when it's connected to the tablet like this, even when it's in the closed um, section. So you only need to bring one charger, the USB-C charger that we got in the box. The connection is there, but as well as charging the tablet, you can also connect this USB-C connector to your phone or even a Chromebook Pixel laptop and charge that from the tablet. So here we are on the internet using the Chrome app, Tech Radar, that's the full Tech Radar site. Looking good. There's a, it's not the, the screen isn't overly responsive, but maybe it's just warming up for us. Um, around the back, there's a eight megapixel camera, while on the front is a two megapixel camera. We never recommend anyone taking photos with a tablet ever, um, so please don't. Um, but they are there if for some reason you need to take a quick snap. Also a good thing, to, another thing to note here is the split of the navigation uh, keys at the bottom of the screen. Uh, usually these are centralized, but on a tablet like this, especially if you're holding it up, they're difficult to hit. So Google split them, so they're much easier to hit with your thumbs when you're just holding the tablet. So that's a nice little feature. So what we're really looking for here is excellent battery life for the Pixel C, uh, a great screen experience. Will it play video really well? Can it hold up battery wise like that? Also the keyboard, it's an interesting addition, obviously with Apple doing the iPad Pro and the keyboard with that and the Surface Pro 4, 
can Google, can the Pixel C be a viable alternative or is it not quite in the same league? Um, we're really excited to try it out. I can't wait to get properly to grips with it. Um, so that is the Pixel C. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I've been John McCann.